Not a lot of people realize that the original Tesla Powerwall was only 3.3 kilowatt. Well, now the newer version is, well, nearly double that size. Plus it uses lithium iron phosphate cells. Plus it's much cheaper. As a result, sales and deployments of Tesla's Powerwall 2 have been insane. In fact, Tesla has installed more than 300,000 of these battery packs worldwide. However, the smart play here for Tesla was what they planned all along, which was to be able to turn these batteries into one giant battery. That's exactly what they're doing in California. It's exactly what they're doing in Adelaide. It's exactly what they plan to do everywhere. Melbourne, Sydney, Brisbane, Portland, doesn't matter where you are. Doesn't matter where on the planet you are. Eventually, if you choose, you'll be able to be part of the biggest battery in human history. Not you personally, but your house, your solar, and your battery. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. Thank you for tuning in. My name is Sam Evans. Now, saying this, it kind of makes me think of the matrix where humans are plugged in and we all become batteries. And there is a, a kind of a, a funny parallel there between that and the reality here, which is that actually our houses, in a way, are part of this new Tesla matrix. Tesla makes money, uh, you make money, and well, who doesn't make money? Who is losing money? Well, coal power plants, fossil fuel companies, they're losing money, you're gaining money, and well, so is Tesla. The Powerwall 1 was 3.3 kilowatts in size originally. In October of 2016, Tesla moved to Powerwall 2. It increased the size of the battery to 5 kilowatt and 7 kilowatts peak power. In November 2020, Tesla changed the Powerwall 2 to be even bigger, 5.8 kilowatt with 10 kilowatt peak power. But not long ago, around about a year ago, Tesla changed the cells to lithium ion phosphate cells it can now deploy a lot more power walls. Before Tesla moved to the lithium iron phosphate cells that they use today, they were deploying around 100,000 power walls every year. Now we don't know what they're deploying right now, but it's probably even more than that. Tesla has installed at least 350,000 of these battery packs worldwide over the past eight years since this all began. And a lot of people have done the maths. They've done the sums and they've gone, well, actually, yeah, I'm going to get a power wall. And that was before the prices recently came down. Swiss bank UBS said that the power wall makes sense in Australia and Germany and now in the United States as well, as electricity is costly, but solar panels are well distributed. In October of 2019, the power wall cost $14,600 for two units. And this has led to a massive expansion of Tesla's power walls. A lot more people are buying them than ever before. Tesla's expansion of its virtual power plant in South Australia has now grown to a further 3,000 homes. The program aims to help low-income households with their electricity costs. Australia, and especially South Australia, had a lot of power issues in the past. Basically, what would happen is it would get really hot, and then at about 4 or 5 o'clock in the day when everyone came home to turn their air conditioning on, the power would just black out. Big blackouts, no power, and this is a big issue when you're talking 45 degrees Celsius. Really, really bad for a lot of people. And this was when Tesla and Elon Musk came along and said, hey, we can solve these problems. We can install a massive battery pack and we can do it within less than 100 days. If we can't do it in less than 100 days, we'll give it to you for free. Uh, this idea was mocked. The Australian government said it was a joke. It wouldn't work. It did work. And in fact, it worked so well that the company that actually paid Tesla for the battery pack in South Australia, they end up doubling the size of the battery because it paid for itself so quickly. How did it do that? Well, because it disrupted Pika plants and Pika plants cost an insane amount of money. That's what Elon Musk has said. Hey, you don't realize our competition, it's not necessarily just energy companies. It's energy companies with Pika plants. Pika plants are our competition. We can easily disrupt them. That's exactly what Tesla is doing. It's what they're going to do in basically every country worldwide that has Pika plants. Most of them have them. So this is where we got the first concept of Tesla's big battery. At the time, this was the biggest battery in the world. 
At that time as well, that was when Elon Musk was first made aware of the prices of electricity in this area in South Australia, which were extremely high. A lot of families couldn't afford electricity. And Elon Musk was actually blown away by the price. He thought, that's just crazy. How are people dealing with that? How can they afford to live? The unstable grid and high electricity costs in many families had to decide whether or not they'd turn on the lights, turn on the air conditioning, or just go hungry. They had to choose between one or the other. Now, apparently Elon Musk was visibly emotionally affected by this. I don't know if that's really true, but apparently he was. And he said Tesla would work harder to solve this problem. A few months after that, Tesla announced that it had reached a deal with the South Australian government to install solar arrays and power walls on 50,000 homes. Many of those homes were low income families, families that really couldn't afford electricity. So the goal was to provide lower electricity costs for those families by using those power walls as part of a large virtual power plant that would provide grid services. What would happen is the batteries would take energy out of the grid when there was excess supply or when the energy costs were really low, they'd send energy back into the grid when the grid needed it. So say at 4, 5, 6 p.m. when it was really, really hot, that's the perfect time when peaker plants would normally jump on. So basically these massive gas turbines would be turned on, costing insane amounts of money. That's when electricity costs were really, really high. Now, what would happen is instead of that back giant gas peaker plant being turned on, Tesla simply sends energy back into the grid from the many 50,000 power walls enabling the grid to support itself. In 2020, Tesla had 1,000 power walls on the network. At the time, they were authorized for a new phase to add another 3,000 batteries to Tesla's virtual power plant. However, now Tesla has confirmed it has deployed an additional 4,000 homes for the new phase of the project. Plus, it's gonna add another 3,000 very soon. Here's what South Australia's Department of Energy and Mining said about what Tesla are doing. The $33 million expansion fully funded by Tesla will make 3,000 more spots available for housing South Australia tenants, in other words, people who can't afford to buy a house, to join a program offering the cheapest residential electricity rate in Australia. This expansion will save households up to $423 while also having battery backup and supporting our grid with renewable energy. Tesla said that this new phase of the virtual power plant allows for the power wall to be deployed with solar power. Phase four introduces battery only Tesla virtual power plants. So as the next part of this plan, you don't have to have solar. Regardless, you can just get a battery deployed at your premises, even if you don't have solar. But the thing is, solar is so widespread in South Australia because it's one of the sunniest places in the world. So there's actually a massive number of solar panels deployed in South Australia today, meaning it's perfect for battery storage. The government has said there will soon be 7,000 more homes added to this network. What does this all mean? Well, Tesla's expansion of its virtual power plant in South Australia, which involves the installation of power walls and solar arrays on homes, is part of the company's broader efforts to deploy power wall installations worldwide. It wants to become one of the largest energy companies in the world. This is just a part of that plan. The Powerwall enables homeowners to store excess electricity generated during the day and use it when it's needed to make themselves money and to make Tesla money as well. By integrating Powerwalls into a virtual power plant, Tesla creates a network of interconnected energy storage systems that can provide grid services and support renewable energy integration. It's likely that within the next three to four years, Tesla will have installed 1 million or more power plants, power walls, batteries worldwide. Beyond South Australia, Tesla has deployed power wall installations in other countries as well. In the United States, for example, Tesla has been installing power walls in homes and businesses to facilitate the adoption of solar power and enable greater energy independence. Similar initiatives have been undertaken in countries like Germany, the United Kingdom, Japan, and other countries as well, where Tesla is actively working to expand its presence in the residential and commercial energy storage markets. The deployment of Powerwall installations worldwide aligns directly with Tesla's broader mission 
of taking over the world. Did I just say that? No, I didn't mean to say that. I meant of accelerating the world's transition to sustainable energy by enabling individuals and communities to harness renewable energy and store it for later use. It means, well, they can make money, so can Tesla. Tesla aims to reduce reliance on fossil fuels, basically to smash them, to get rid of them, and to increase energy efficiency and contribute to a more resilient and sustainable energy future. But my friends, a lot of those marketing spiel, a lot of those marketing jargon, the ultimate goal here for Tesla is, it's to become one of the biggest companies in the world. I really believe that Tesla will eventually become the largest distributor of energy worldwide. If you look at the stats, if you look at the numbers, if you look at where things are going, that's inevitable. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.